Hello everyone, this is Noah once again with Save Green here. And today we're going to compare the difference in pricing that is between Google Fi and we've also been asked by some of our viewers about Consumer Cellular and they play commercials all the time, especially during the daytime. So their target audience is those that are retired, you're on a fixed income, and of course, here at Save Green here, we are all about saving you money, giving you tips to save your, your pocketbook. And we also do from time to time reviews on electronics as well. But anyway, going straight to the matter, Google Fi is Google's phone service. And just like consumer cellular, they do not own their cell phone towers. Those towers are owned by five of the biggest cell phone providers in the US and they are AT&T and T-Mobile on the GSM networks and then Verizon Sprint and US Cellular on the CDMA side of things. So those are the five largest providers in the country. Everyone else, every other provider, they're leasing towers from these five companies I just mentioned. So Google Fi does the same thing. Now, Google Fi leases antenna towers from T-Mobile, from Sprint, and from US Cellular, those three companies. And the way they went about things was, since they're leasing all three of them, your phone can easily just ping to the antenna that's closest to it, or the antenna tower that's closest to it. Consumer Cellular kind of does the same thing. They're also using T-Mobile and AT&T. So what makes Google Fi a little bit of a better choice for you is you have GSM networks, which is T-Mobile and AT&T. That's one type of antenna signal. And then you have CDMA towers. Those are Verizon, Sprint, and US Cellular. So you kind of want to have the best of both worlds. Here's why. Whenever, if you're on, let's say you're a Sprint customer or a, or a uh, US Cellular customer, if you're in an area where your signal's not the best, Sprint and US Cellular will, will ping or will roam to Verizon. And we know that Verizon's a very dependable network. So they will roam and use their signal. So if you're on Google Fi, you're getting T-Mobile, Sprint, and US Cellular, but on the US Cellular and Sprint side, whenever their signals are weak, it will roam to Verizon. So you're kind of getting the best of four of the five major carriers. That being said, since Consumer Cellular also uses uh, T-Mobile and AT&T, and Google Fi actually gives you more of a coverage area, let's compare the plans. And we are specifically targeting to customers that are just going to need talk and text. You're not needing any internet. We know uh, many of the ones that are on a fixed income or retired or elderly, you may not need internet. You might just use your tablet when you're at home using the Wi-Fi at home. So with that in mind, let's say you need two, two lines on the consumer cellular side of things, one line will cost you 20 bucks. Every additional line will cost you 15. So you can see that here, how that changes down here. One line is $20, but when I hit two lines, it's 35 because it's $20 for one line and $15 for each additional line. That brings your total up to $35, okay? Well, I'm sorry, two lines is actually $15 a month, which is good, but your, your uh, talk plan here if you want unlimited talk where they're not going to upcharge you or charge you for going over minutes and stuff like that and you just want to talk as much as you want to friends and family twenty dollars a month unlimited talk fifteen dollars for the two lines so that's about 750 per line i didn't notice that until recently so 15 plus 20 there's your 35. so 35 bucks a month to talk and text unlimited Okay. Now, if you look at Google Fi's plan, they also give you a $20 a month charge 
for talk and text, and then $15 for every additional line. You can add as many lines as you want. So you're looking for at $35 there. And as you can see here, I'm not even using any internet. So I'm doing an apples to apples comparison. $35 here, $35 here. So far, the key difference that we're seeing between these two providers is that you're gonna have much better coverage on Google Fi because Google Fi is using, again, T-Mobile, Sprint, and US Cellular. And whenever you're on Sprint or US Cellular Towers and their signal's not so great, they automatically roam you to Verizon. That's a good thing. You're actually getting four providers for the price of one out of the top five. With Consumer Cellular, you're getting T-Mobile, which Google Fi offers as well, but you're getting only AT&T as the other provider. So you get two providers here, four providers here. The reason why I'm putting this out there for the consumers out there is consumer cellular is just, I mean, they are running commercials all day long during the daytime. And the target audience, like I mentioned before, are people that are at home. If you're at home, most likely you're retired or you don't have uh, income right now, you're not working, you might have been disabled. So you're, you're needing a good cellular plan that's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg. And you probably are saying, heck, I'm home all the time, I need good internet, but I don't need to be paying for it on my cell phone when I'm home all the time, I can just use the Wi-Fi. Well, with Google Fi, you don't have to use any internet. You could actually shut your internet on your phone off on the settings and only pay for talk and text, okay? And with consumer cellular, same thing. $35 for their plan, talk, limited talk, limited talk and text, and you're gonna pay $35 a month. Now, both of these companies will allow you to buy data, just like you can see here, you got all kinds of data plans here, you know, up to $40 a month. Google Fi, the same thing, you can, you're gonna pay $10 for each gigabyte of data. But again, if you're home, and you're using your Wi-Fi and you just need talk and text, you don't need the bells and whistles. I don't need that right there. And you see it's set to zero here, $35, same. We're comparing apples to apples, $35, both plans. But again, what you wanna look at here is coverage, signal. You wanna have the best signal for your buck for the $35 that you're gonna pay either way, you wanna make sure you have the best signal. Now, Google Fi is very particular about this, but they do recommend you go with their phones that are mentioned on their website that will automatically have that ability to switch over from one antenna to the other seamlessly. So you want a phone that is unlocked to both GSM towers, which is T-Mobile and AT&T, and also unlocked to CDMA towers, which is Verizon, Sprint, and US Cellular. And the reason for that is so it, your phone will be enabled to flip from one place to another. Another thing too with Google Fi is it also enables Wi-Fi calling. And on consumer cellular, you don't have that ability to use Wi-Fi calling unless you have a T-Mobile phone. If you go with Google Fi and buy one of their Pixel phones, my suggestion to you if you want to save some money is don't buy the Pixel phone from Google, buy it on Amazon. And what I'll do, I will post a link down below in the description that will have an automatic discount on it. When you click on it, you can get any one of these phones. But personally, I suggest you go with the Pixel 2 XL or the Pixel 3 XL or Pixel 3 because these phones are made by Google and they are optimized to work on Google Fi. The rest of them are as well. They will work the same, but I just have an eerie feeling of using other phones that are not Google's phone on their phone plan. And you can try it and you can switch your, your phone that you have now. You can switch your phone number to it without having to pay anything additionally. And you don't have a contract also on Google Fi, but it's up to you. Both of them are $35, but I'm giving you perspective here. You're going to be have a better coverage with Google Fi than you would with consumer cellular. Again, this is Noah with Save Green here. 
You all have a nice day.